name is Byung Cho. I am now 83 years old. That was 1950. Okay. 1950. At that time, I was a college student in the north part. My family were had had a very hard time because the North Korean government, so so called Red government, they don't like they don't like and they suppressed people who lived somewhat what wealthy uh, more than usual standard you know mm -hmm. they they hate such people so we were one of the group they hated i refused but uh, to you know, to be taken to the their army, um, I said, no, I never uh, served you in the your your army. Uh, no, it was it was called enlisted enlistment. So I I refused, and then. Finally, I uh, smuggled into uh, underground for at least uh, two weeks. Two weeks. So now my family also uh, didn't know where I am. They shouldn't should not know about it because police were looking for me. If, if, if they, you know, press my family, where is your son? If they do know where I am, eventually they may take talk about that. Mm -hmm. But my family, they don't know because I didn't tell, tell where I will go be there. You know, so finally, that yeah. was the. Yeah. Uh, Eighth U.S. Army uh, and uh, Korean Third uh, uh, Infantry Division and Capital Infantry Division came to the, my hometown. You know, mm. and then we are wow, <laughs> so called so called liberation. You know, mm. and then. Chinese army invaded from the north to the Korea, North Korea. In the east coast, uh, there was a um, big seaport by the name of Hungnam. It's uh, near to my hometown. Mm. There were all, a lot of sh ships came to the yeah, to transport UN forces, but they don't know how much war refugees are there and how much more ship needed. They put the re Korean refugees in between truck, between <laughs> the tank, uh, between in their uh, supplies, and then put them and then. So many people come, but why my family couldn't come there? They shut down the uh, between port and my hometown because the Red Army guerrilla smuggled into the uh, refugee group, uh, just like uh, refugees crossing with, you know. So they don't know who is refugees, who is Red Army guerrilla. 
So no, no more refuge. That's why many, you see, my, do you know my uncles? Two uncles, their family, my family, they come down the uh, stop lines and, and then returned home because you know, <sighs> so how, but, did, how did you get to the port first? Oh, but I was young at the time, you know. The Korean army need young men. They so-called uh, new soldier, new soldier need. They called recruit, recruit, you know. So Korean army took us onto their truck and covered with something. And then checkpoint in the US Army MP. What is this? The Korean Army officer. Oh, they are recruit. Uh, oh, so OK. Uh, so we, we got a chance to pass, you know. The Korean army has no any power. Every power got U.S. army. Mm -hmm. So, so we became a, a regular army personnel. For South Korea. Mm -hmm. So I became a so-called what? Mm, what's the PFC? Private? Uh, private? First class. First class. First class. Yeah. The beast that private second class. <laughs> Say freshmen, like, uh, they say just, uh, um, uh, what, uh, new soldier. Or, um, so we, we some trained, uh, our ship were, uh, got the uh, um, part of some area in Gangwon-do area. Uh, um, and, and then we became a um, trainee. And then many officers told me, hey, how come we, nobody know how soon this war is going to be? Ended. So how can you continue such, you know, soldier life? It's very difficult. Why don't Why don't you become an officer? So I took some examination and then I become a officer. Lieutenant, uh, and and then I became a lieutenant colonel, colonel mm -hmm. in the army, and then after that I got out of the army, so retired from army, and then I established the. Uh, private practice mm. Mm. In, in the Seoul. When I came over here uh, to United States, I think it's probably I was 43 years old. Right. In mm. what year? In 1972. I became uh, one of employee of state of Ohio, mm -hmm. you know. The state, state hospital. The uh, date was October 1st. I want to visit my, to North Korea. Is it okay? If it's not good for you, I don't go. So he said, uh, my stepmother said, ah, now it became much better. Uh, but before it was so bad, because because my home was 
originally my home wasn't good to them, you know? And then, in addition to that, I fled to the south, you know? The, the, they said such people counter-activist, counter-activist. Mm. So, but now, much is relaxed. Uh, so, come over. If you want, come over. That's fine. And then, and then that was in 1988 when an Olympic game is processing in the soul in the uh, in, or September in early September. Uh, so I went to, went to Japan and then changed to right to the Beijing China. The, the, my cousin, Mr. Kim Sei, came to the Beijing with train, by train. He took three days <laughs> to train <laughs> with his wife, you know. We took a train, a night train. At that time, only night train. In the daytime, there was no train for foreigners. They don't like foreigners to look around. Oh. They don't like that. Mm. Mm. It's a <laughs> and next morning we get out of a train at my hometown, the Han Hung. And then we met my stepmother and my stepbrother, stepsisters. Mm. And then my original home, hometown, rural area, village, home village. So when I was born there in rural area, and everything changed more. My mother's tomb was moved to somewhere. I don't know who did it, why so, why did it. Nobody know. Just say, this is your mom's tomb. I am now 83 years old. Do you know where is the longest place I live? Here. More than 40 years now. You know? Mm. <laughs> I live in South Korea between 1950 and 1972. It's only 22 years. Mm -hmm. You know. And then you lived in North Korea only 18 years? Or? Uh, maybe. I don't know how, how old I was. <laughs> I forgot, you know. Uh -huh. uh, so... You see, when I, when I drove my car to the Pennsylvania over Pittsburgh or somewhere else, and then came back to the Ohio, Pennsylvania is the mountainside, you know, like this. And then in one past the uh -huh. borderline of the Ohio, the road was wide and uh, straight, direct, uh, rectified everything. And uh, ah, now I can come back to Ohio. I feel just like my hometown.